versus boys. Another piece of pie. Me! I'd like five! Look, fellas! I made some apple juice! Awesome, Franny! <laughs> we are just so lucky to have you guys. Ditto! Right, let's mm -hmm. go play! Thanks a lot! Oh, why don't you guys come watch us? This moment on, boys and girls will live completely apart. Sammy, wait a sec. Bjorn, Sammy's right. It's not like it's hard to bake pies. This is guy land. <laughs> and this is girl land. Uh-uh. And girly things like playing war and flower swing like triple racing skateboard kings like bracelets, dresses, and earrings. Selfies with a made up face, a three way arrow rocket race with boys and girls in a separate space. Then everything stays in its place. Yeah, out of mind is out of sight. The separation's pure delight. But there's a feeling I can't quite fight. Something's not. Right. <sighs> another pie? There's no room for another one. Hmm? Goodness! Gosh, Franny, what happened? <laughs> the oven must be broken or something. Do you know how to fix it? When I have a problem, I like to dress up nice. We could give the oven a makeover, right? Nah, Sonia, I think that we need... The, the dumb, dumb boys! boys. Carrot puffs again. But these are Cool Ranch. It's a new flavor. We've never had it before, right? <sighs> I imagine the girls are eating some kind of cake. Um, I was thinking something. Yeah, I've been thinking too, Buck. Can we please just go and do what we've all been thinking, guys? I'll just say it, okay? We were incredibly wrong. We were dumb. Girls can absolutely play basketball. Listen, guys. We took things too far ourselves. Can you help? My oven's broken pretty badly. I would love to help you. Then we can have peace? Sammy's got the ball, but there's no way he's getting past Sonia. Catch, capable female teammate! And fleet-footed Franny the Fox dribbles down the court. She lines up her shot. Swish! Franny, excellent shot! And the score is 14 to 0. <laughs> Franny, listen. Could you go bake a pie? It's the only way my side will win. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The perfect friends. Morning, Bucky. <laughs> you want to pick berries with me? <laughs> Brammy! Forget that. Come and check out this awesome thing I made. Huh? Look. It can read the star's thoughts. Just take a listen. Huh? Hmm. I don't hear anything at all. It's just a little random noise. Noise? Those are star's thoughts. Fine. Go on, pick your berries. Later! I'm going fishing. Want to come along? It'll be fun. How could I be interested in fishing when I'm listening to the thoughts of the stars? You want to hear them? No. No. I'm not really hearing any thoughts. Just some noise. Kind of like you hear in a seashell. Well, you're not exactly an expert, Yorn. Just go and catch your fish. Okie dokie, Bucky. I'll be at the river, dude. Try not to die of boredom. Oh! Go away, Chicky. It's not a good time. <sighs> Why don't any of my friends understand me? I wish I could find a world where my friends would completely get me. Big genius idea! The thingy goes in the other thingy, right by the other thingy. Good! All finished. Now to give it a try. Yank the lever. I'm so clever. Walk through the portal to wherever. Science stuff! Um, okay. What happened? It didn't work at all. Hi, Bucky! Huh? I made some upgrades to your boring machine. Do you want to come see it? Really? What upgrade? Who said you could do that? Okay, I understand. Seems you quote upgraded it by adding that flower. Well, partly. I added that doohickey as well. It's pretty cool. It reads the star's mood and turns the mood into music. Actually, the dancing flower is just there for funsies. Did you just say music? From star moods? That's right! I'm also planning to do the reverse as well, so the flower's thoughts will make the stars dance. Um, cool. Want to help with the calculations? Uh, yeah, sure, all right. Surprise, surprise, shock of shocks. Who knew Franny was a genius fox? Just a bit more left. Now we just have to find the way to transform thoughts into something musical. Uh, Franny, hey, do you feel hungry at all? Are any of your raspberry pies left over from yesterday? What are you talking about? I have never cooked in my whole life. Here, just choke down some vitamins. They're bitter as the dickens, but they're great for your brain. Now, we also have to calculate making it work in reverse. Franny, I'm just gonna go, uh, you know, get a little fresh air, which is good for your brain, too. You just keep mapping and stuff. Now, if the coefficient of the variable. Yo, Bjorn, hi there. New fishing rod? Let's try it out. Fishing? Aren't you cute? It's not a fishing rod, dude. It's my super transmutator. Super trans. What? With this invention, I can change into any shape I choose. Say, for example, awesome time! My best friend, Bucky. Uh, Bjorn? I'm a little bit creeped out by that. Can you please stop being me? No problem. Bjorn, yeah, that's pretty cool and all, but you still have a regular fishing rod, right? Why would I have that? Fishing's trivial next to my scientific pursuits. Oh, Chicky, you want to play? Come on, then. All right, Chicky Bird, run and get the pine cone. Buggy, what are you doing? Sorry for that, Professor Flyenstein. May I give you a demonstration of my new transmutator? I made the modifications you suggested and reversed the polarity of the frigid. The gain was amazing. Too weird. I take it back. This is anti-awesome. Pull the lever and close that door forever. Bucky? Franny? Bjorn? Dr. Flyenstein? Dr. Wettenstein? Bucky, all of us were thinking about it. So we'd all like to learn some science stuff that has to do with your inventions. So you can find us more interesting to talk with and stuff. Don't be silly. I like you guys the way you are. You don't need to learn science. Let's go and pick berries for a pie. Then we'll all go fishing. That's easy. The solution to the problem is friendship. The never-ending day.
Look, Franny, it's the turtle, right above us. It's where? Wait, I see it! Wow. And there's the whale! Oh yeah, the whale! That is not a whale! It's a bunch of white dots in the dumb dark sky! Nighttime! Why do we even need nighttime? Well, we just do. For reasons and stuff. <laughs> we don't need it at all! You've just never thought about living without it! Think what you could do if you didn't have to sleep all night! We'd never have to stop playing! Wouldn't it be cool? I just need to invent a sunshine omatic Treninator! Sure, the sun is fine, but there are times it doesn't shine! And we can fix that with a super smart, incredible design! All it takes is lots of work and brilliant thoughts! Plus a giant light bulb pumping like a zillion watts! <laughs> and when the work's all done, we'll have a year-round substitute sun! That's it, mammals! The sunshine omatic Trotinator! The largest ever light bulb in the world with a Googleplex Watts! And four ultra high powered rotors to keep the beautiful machine airborne! Awesome, right? Uh -huh. We'll never need the sun again! Genius time! That's right, big fella! Fly! Fly! Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah! Got it! The dawn of a new day! Good morning! Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly like the sun! It's nighttime, but it's daylight. It's night day or day night! Hey, Bjorn, do you feel like playing a little ball? That sounds awesome. Just let me brush my teeth. How come? You already brushed them. I mean, you haven't been to bed since then, right? Hmm, that's right. I haven't slept yet. Just another plus of never having nighttime. Come on, let's find ah. Franny. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Franny. Well, hello there, Bjorn and Bucky. Look at this amazing scarf I knitted last night. I mean, night day. No, day night. Another reason? Living without night's just great. Franny, hey, make with the pies. And yummy honey, and jam, and cookies. Oh, yeah, and candy, too. Bucky, that's not a very healthy breakfast. But is it really breakfast? Breakfast is in the morning, right? When you get up. And we haven't just woken up, right? Every meal is lunch from now on. I love the never-ending day. Way up high in the sky. There's a shining light that lets us kiss. Oh, boring sleep goodbye. Real, real fun in the fake, fake sun. Oh, we'll play, 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 and we'll run, run, run. We'll play everything twice before we're done. And the best part is we've just begun! <laughs> Isn't this no night thing just great? Who would have thought it was possible to fit all this into just one day? Tell me about it. I feel dumb forever sleeping in the first place. Hey there, guys. What's up? Having all the fun. You better believe it. It's just the greatest, right? Hey, Rose. Longest day ever. Wait, I mean best. Guys, you're not tired or anything, right? No way! But, Franny, are you? I might be a little sort of tired. Honestly, I might pass out right here right now. I think I know what the problem is. We have to set the sunshine omatic troninator so it shines brighter. Then we'll have pep coming out of our ears. All right, that's just fine. A bit further. Uh, More up here. Uh, What's the word? Oh, yeah. Higher. <sighs> I think the sun might be broken. Fix later. Snooze first. Yeah, sleep is pretty awesome, you know. I was thinking maybe you shouldn't bother fixing it. Franny, that sounds like an absolutely brilliant idea. Bjorn, question. Which constellation is that? The Sleepy Crab. And that one there? Napping Weasel. Maybe this nighttime thing isn't such a bad idea after all. Oh, I know that constellation. It's the snoring warthog, right? And there's the yawning walrus. The fairest of them all! So, yes! Hey! Bleh. My 
My stupid big ears are ridiculous. And don't get me started on my tail. Oh, I might as well give up. I'm not pretty. Not like these flowers are. They're just simply beautiful. And I'm just simply not. Wouldn't it be just wonderful to be a flower? What do you think? Good, but there's something missing. Yeah, it needs something beautiful. That's it. Every first-class fountain needs to have a lovely statue in it. Bucky, Bjorn, hi there. You notice anything? Jeez Louise, <laughs> Brammy. What's that thing on your head? Did you chug flower juice or something? Hey, come on. What are you laughing? Doesn't everyone think flowers are beautiful? Yes, flowers are very beautiful, but... A fox in a weird flower headdress thing? Not so much. <laughs> it's not like you guys are beauty experts or anything. Forget you guys. Whoa! I know just what our fountain needs. Just right. Isn't it? I'm not really sure it is. Yeah, you're right, and I agree. <sighs> Chug flower juice. Bah. They don't know what's pretty. Ah, fishy! It's so... Pretty! Wouldn't it be wonderful to be a fish? Cool, right? Seriously? You want to put a recliner in the middle of a fountain? Well, yeah. It looks nice. And you can climb up and sit on it. <laughs> I see. Just be sure to remember your umbrella. Hey, guys! Notice anything? <sighs> I'm really, really pretty like this, right? <sighs> Ooh. Granny's been eating too much sushi. Look, even a fish knows a chair shouldn't be in a fountain. Granny, are you all right? Why are you a fish? Because fish are beautiful. You don't get it. I've got it, Bjorn. I know just what we need. Right? Huh? No, <laughs> things right. Help, Help us find the perfect thing we wish we may, we, we might. might. Look at it, perfection itself. That is 12 kinds of goofy. Hey, this is not goofy. Chicky rocks. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here, stop. Disappointment. <laughs> what is happening right now? A peacock's tail? Check it out! Well, peacocks happen to be the prettiest birds on the entire planet! Yeah, but a peacock <laughs> is a peacock, see? And <laughs> you can't be one because you're a fox! Oh, this is just too much! Franny the peacock! Perfect! Too much! It's just so great! <laughs> this doesn't make me beautiful either? Stop laughing! <laughs> Franny, hey! Franny, wait, don't go! You hurt her feelings. Ugh. Guess we both hurt her feelings. Hey, dude, listen! I've got the answer to our fountain problem! Ugh. Come with me, because I've had a thought that could unify the whole darn plot. We'll put the perfect thing in the perfect spot! One, two, three! <laughs> We've kind of both been lousy friends, so we'll make the thing that makes amends. Uh -huh. Sweet Franny's happiness Depends on you and me. Yes, sir. Welcome to the grand opening of our brand new magnificent fountain. It's been a long, strange road, but at long last, it's completely done. Come on, enough talk. Ready, set, fly! What the huh? Is that me? You guys put me in the middle of your pretty fountain? But wouldn't it be better to pick something beautiful? Franny, what could possibly be more beautiful than you? We think you're the most beautiful fox in the history of the entire planet. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on, Bjorny. You're right. I don't look half bad up there. <laughs> I'm really thirsty all of a sudden. Good luck, Charm. Charm. 
your attention, please. You're about to witness the most exciting and possible stunt maneuver ever performed in history. Bucky, yay! You're the bear! All right! Way up there in the air, it's Bucky Bear. Wait to him, kids! Wow, that was so neat! Bucky, you're awesome! Sure, that was great. If you were trying to be boring, let me have a turn. Please, you could never beat my most exciting and possible stunt maneuver. Goodness, Bucky, does Bjorn really know what he's getting into? He's fine, but if something does happen, he'll probably land in that pile of leaves. Ah! Way up in the air? No, ah! look down there! Ah! Bjorn, hey, are you all right? I warned you, didn't I? A stunt like that takes dozens of hours of practice. You can't expect ah! to pull it off just winging it. The most exciting, impossible stunt maneuver. All right, I'm as good as Bucky. I can do this. I can't do this at all! Hmm, well, did I do it? Whoa, is this some kind of lucky clover? It brought me good luck. This must be how I was able to pull off the stunt. Oh, Bucky, just look at my super amazing maneuver. With the help of my lucky charm, there's nothing I can't do. Ha! Woo -hoo! <laughs> Bjorn, hey there! I've been working on a brand new Amazing Impossible Super Stunt, dude! Is it as boring as the other one was? Watch my super duper mega uber big fat stunter room! Should I pile up some leaves first in case this stunt goes down like the last one did? Hey, Bjorn! Just walk away before you hurt yourself. Now is the time. Ready, Charm? That was the bomb! Bjorn, yay! I thought no one could top Bucky's fancy maneuver. Well, I have a brand new amazing or better or super or stunt maneuver. Hundreds of times trickier than your stunt. Well, my super mega turbo ultra big new trick is a million times harder than yours is. Yeah? Then we're gonna settle this once and for all. 10 o'clock tomorrow here, the coolest trick wins. Good luck, you're gonna need it. To race the race, you gotta pump up pump to get your bike in shape to do the coolest jump. Can my lucky charm get me over the hump or will the whole thing end with me on my rump? I'm training hard for the crazy ride. Will I bruise my bottom or bruise my pride? Hey, I think I better find a safe place to hide. My lucky secret weapon keep it safe inside. Bouncing and bouncing, I'm testing my shots. Oh. <laughs> worrying and worrying, I think I need some bigger locks. Round and round and round again. I'm nervous as I've ever been. Protect my lucky charm and then I'll be gloriously victorious when it's 10. <laughs> Are you serious, Bjorn? You're trying tightrope riding? Uh-huh. With some wheelies, too. All going backwards. And did I mention I'll be blindfolded? Bjorn, buddy, have you completely lost your marbles? You are guaranteed to fall! Thanks to this, I'm not afraid of anything anymore. What is that? A piece of clover? What it is, is my lucky charm. I suggest you prepare yourself to get very beaten. Listen, Franny, we have to come up with a way to rescue Bjorn, otherwise he'll fall. The big dummy? I know. What can we do? I have an idea. Run and get the badminton net as fast as you can. Here comes my super duper glorious uber blow your mind bicycle stunt. Don't let me down, Lucky Charm! Charm! I understand now. It was all nonsense. It doesn't work. You just need to take the time to practice. You know what? We could even practice together. With you? Seriously? I'd love that, dude! Straight down, turn right, turn right, then up and over, and that's it! All right. I think I've got it now. Turn right, turn right. Looking uh, good. I kind of wish I hadn't eaten all those waffles. Ugh. Yeah, me too. Staying connected. Right. Let's make you tighter 
and give this a big yank and give this a twist. Hey, Bucky, good morning. What are you doing? Good morning, Bjorny Bear. I'm making a super slumbertronic remote controlled hammock. I thought we were going to play soccer together. Get started. I'll meet up with you in a little while, just as soon as I get this tightened up. Come on. Well, all right. Don't take too long. I'll be waiting at the soccer field. Eureka! Gosh, I'm smart. Now I can join Bjorn for a little soccer. Chicky, look. Is it raining out or something? Oh, foot. That's it for the soccer game. I have a brilliant idea. Remind a Matic. What's this? I do not know. Flowers here, snakes. Whoa. Hey there, Bjorny Bear. This rain won't be stopping us, because now we can play with each other from home. Oh, ouchie, my paw! <laughs> I'm good. Whew. And we're back and ready. Ha! Let's get started. Huh? Yeah! See that? Pass to another me, and the kick. All right! Bucky scores a goal and pulls a hit. You can't be already keeping score. I don't even know what to press. Enter your moves with the keys, then click the ball in the corner of the screen. I get it. Oh, I got it. Ha 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 wins. Oh, yes. <laughs> Follow me to level three. Bjorn, focus. Grab that brolly pop. I've never felt so alive. Bucky, hi. It's been a long time since you've been outside. Why don't you come outside and play? Hey, Franny. Hi. It's raining hard outside. That rainstorm happened three days ago. It stopped. It stopped, did it? That's good. Me and Bjorn have been busy on a computer network. A computer network? But that doesn't seem fun at all. Oh, it's seriously fun. There's adventure games and soccer and pictures, and you can message any time in all kinds of weather. And you can sit anywhere, like a hammock. Whoa! Whoa! It hurts. Granny, help! I'm stuck in this thing. Can you untangle me? Pull that lever there. This one? I'll try. I'm trying, trying. It's so... Huh? Bucky, what's going on? Are you asleep? The cyberbugs are taking over. The base has been overrun. Bjorn, who cares about cyberbugs? I'm in real trouble. Just look at how stuck I am. Look at that. Fine, I'm sending you a digital book on the history of knots. <laughs> it's really stuck. I can't even get it to budge. Whoa! Hey, look at that. You've got pretend computer mail. What is that? Dude, what exactly do you expect me to do with this book? It's informative while still being entertaining. Ah! Bjorn, please help me in the real world. I think I'm totally gonna fall. Sure, all right, I'm on it. I am sending you a rescue helicopter. Thanks, handsome. Ah! Somebody help me! Uh, I'll be back, hang in there. I didn't mean for that to be a pun. Bjorn, I need you to come! Bucky's stuck and you're the only one who can help him! I already sent him a book on the subject and a helicopter. Fine then, I will do something else. Let me think. I'll send ships and, ooh, cool cyber tanks. Bjorn, Bucky needs help right now! But real help and no uh, computer help! What took you so long, guys? <laughs> That's better. Thanks so much, buddy. Stupid hammock. Maybe I forgot to tighten something. So I'll be leaving, but I'll be seeing you online. Hey, Bjorn, slow down. While you're here in the flesh, wanna actually play real life mammal soccer? Oh, great, more rain. So should we just go home? Wait, catch. What am I looking at? Put it on your head. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Turbo kick! You're not nearly as handsome as your avatar, Bjorn. Don't make me unfriend you. You guys! As easy as pie. Mmm, so yummers! 
Wow, Franny. Your pies are insane. The best pies on earth. Thank you. Ah, it took me a whole week to perfect this new special top secret pie. <gasps> it took you a week to come up with a recipe for pie? That's nuts. It's not like cooking's hard to do. If it's so easy, why don't you try It'd it? It'd be easy as pie. <laughs> and I'd like to see you try to be an inventor. Make something really simple, like a bike. Uh, sure, I could do that. All right, then. Put her there. Bjorn's our witness. The Bacon Mick Challenge is on! What is pie? Pie is something you make in an oven. But what if you could just put the ingredients in the top of the oven and the rest was automatic? There is no such oven! Oh, that's great! I get to invent one! Weld and solder and screw and drill. Inventing stuff is such a thrill. With a mountain of brains and an ocean of skill, I'll make an auto pioneating ovenizer, I will. Right, where do I begin? Ooh, first I'll pick the color. Uh, pink, duh. My bike will be pink. Ooh, with purple polka dots and yellow handlebars. I'm really good at this. And I think the wheels should match the handlebars. That is a beautiful design! I'll make the seat white like a big fluffy cloud. And the chain will have all the colors of the rainbow in it. It's just gorgeous! I'm a super genius! Let's see. Now, what do we put in it? Hmm. I'm a little fuzzy on the formula, but I think a cherry pie needs cherries. What a breakthrough! Your genius is mind-blowing! Next, you can solve the ancient mystery, what is in an apple pie? Be quiet, please. I'm cooking. Pie... Genius time. What else yummy do I need to add? Honey, perfect! <laughs> Gotta have chocolate. Sweet! I think it's time to tackle the crust. The crust has got eggs in it, right? Um, bingo! These snake eggs should be fine. After all, eggs are eggs. I think crusts also have flour. Like, a lot, yeah! You have to have a ton of flour! Probably. You. Looks like that's all! Soon pie! Great! Where could I find bicycle parts? First, I'll need the pink frame. Pink, pink, of course! Raspberries and cream! And for the purple polka dots, blueberries will work fine! Oh, that's shaping up very nicely! <laughs> and this will be a perfect yellow handlebar! And for yellow wheels, I can just cut some lovely pineapple rings. Oh, and chocolate icing for the tires. And I'll make the white seat out of coconut. Now the rainbow chain, candy worms. Now to put the pieces together. Uh, hmm. Your judge has arrived. Let's see what you came up with. Your big mouth started this, so you go first. I give you the pioneering ovenizer and genius berry pie. Huh? You're the first bear to enjoy it. Well, the crust seems a bit tough. Tough crust? Uh, I've got just the thing. Huh? I'll be right back. And I'm back. And it's pie time. Huh? Your pie is served. I'm sorry, but that isn't going into my mouth. Because I like having teeth. Well, Franny, it's your turn. Let's see the bike you invented. Uh, isn't this the most beautiful bicycle you've ever seen? Speechless, huh? I understand. Try it out, Bjorn. Ugh, for real? Ugh, ugh. Doesn't it move? Well, no, but it's beautiful and sweet. I see that we've got ourselves a tie. All right, then, shake paws, you guys. You know, I think that making pies just isn't my thing. And I'm not much of an inventor, as it happens. Oh, Franny, would you like my super pie ovenizer? <laughs> All right, I'll make a brand new pie for you. With raspberries and banana and pineapple and candy worms and coconut and chocolate icing called Bicycle Pie. Franny's birthday! Get ready to feel the sting of defeat, because here comes a world-class goal. Yeah, bring it on, Big Bear. 
A beautiful kick! It's going! Gone! Goner! Oh, man! Um, Chicky, hey! What do you have? This is to all my friends. Today is my birthday. Everybody's invited to my house for yummy cake and punch from your friend Franny. What? I didn't realize it was Franny's birthday. It's so great. All the cake I can eat. Dude, I'm going to go and get Franny the best birthday present ever. Yeah, right. Huh? Don't even bother, my friend. I'm going to give Franny the coolest present. Oh, yeah? All right, then. We'll just see about that. The greatest present ever. Come on, Bjorn, use your brain. A chicken popsicle. No, wait, ugh. Oh, I just had a Bucky-esque genius idea. Table, ice, talent, nice. If I chisel from the heart, it'll set my gift apart. Then it won't be just a present, it'll be a work of art. Awesome, right? That's a darn cool present. And not just because it's made of ice. Do you think she'll like it? Ha! That's the best you could do? A weird frozen Franny Francicle? You don't have a chance, Bjorn. I'm gonna show you just how awesome a present can be. A cool idea. No, actually, it's hot. I know that Franny will like it quite a lot and say that it's the greatest gift she's ever got. The Franny Bar! Yeah! <laughs> oh, no one's ever seen a present like this. This will be Bjorn's frozen box easy. Hey, Chicky, do you love my present? The greatest present ever, right? Unlike Bjorn's gift. Hmm. Hmm. You've done well telling me about this. I'm going to have to take my ice box to the next level. Hmm. Table, ice, twice as nice. Ah, look at that. It's the best present ever. So that's how it's gonna be, is it? You just wait until I'm done with Franny Botzilla! Taking walks in a playing game. A bit to the left, uh, when there's sunny weather. Now to the right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Sheesh, put your beak into it. We're almost there now. Why is ice this heavy? If there's rain, they'll like sing some song. Stop, just stop. Stop, please. Your maker says stop. Don't turn left, you'll ah, fall down the hill. You big brainless walking junk pile. Every day just has a way of stinking. It looks like somebody will be showing up giftless. What a shame. That's right, but I don't think I'm alone in that. What are you talking about? Maybe you should turn around. Huh? Bummer. Happy birthday, you know who. In the sunny weather. Party guests, oh, where are you? Wish we were together. Well, this stinks. You work hard on a great present and the dumb thing falls apart, leaving you with nothing to give. Franny's probably just sitting there alone and sad. So what's the plan? Oh, hey, Bjorn, would flowers make a nice present? Yeah, Franny really likes plants and stuff. I know where I can pick some flowers that Franny will love. Bucky, where did you get those flowers? Never mind, just ring the bell. Hello there, Franny. Happy birthday. We're sorry, but we didn't bring you any presents. Hey, you guys are the only present I need. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we did manage to bring you these. Wowee. Gosh, these flowers are really pretty. Just like the ones I have in my flower bed. Oh. Bucky, tell me you didn't pick those flowers from Franny's own garden. Yes, I did. How else could I be sure she'd love them? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost stories. In a dark, deep, deep, dark forest lived a, a zombie vampire werewolf bear. And he gobbled everybody up with his 
awful werewolf teeth. Uh, yeah. And they've not been heard from since. Who now? The vampire or the zombie or the mummy or the bear? Huh? What? No, those are all just parts of the one bear. Come on. Ah, oh, forget it. It's Franny's turn next. Listen up while I tell the tale of Gigandy Gruntus. Gigandy Gruntus is a monster that lives deep in the woods. It comes out at night to hunt. <gasps> it has three horns, four massively clawed paws, two slimy tails, 13 stomachs, and a long boogery trunk. It eats one thing only. All it eats is bears! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Giggity Gruntus, I'm not even that scared. Gosh, Franny, you're really good at telling ghost stories. <laughs> Gigani Gruntus. Whoever said it was just a story? It's a million percent real. Yeah, right. I believe that, and I'm super scared. <laughs> Aren't you scared, Bjorn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified of a silly kid story. Fine. Then I'll just be heading home. And I'm taking my flashlight, too. Franny, hey! I hope you don't get eaten by lame Gruntus. <laughs> I called him lame Gruntus, dude. <laughs> Guess it's time we went home. Let's take the tent down and deal with the fire. Boy, uh, it's a little dark. Yeah. Bucky? Bucky, are you really sure Gigantic Gruntus is only a silly kid story? Bjorn, I'm as sure as can be. Franny completely made him up. Well, here's where you go right and I go left. <laughs> Bucky, listen. Don't you think it's boring just walking by yourself? Would you walk with me until I'm home safe? Uh -huh. So, I guess I'm not in a big hurry. Walking down the perfectly safe path in the perfectly safe woods. Bucky, what if this gigantic Gruntus is real, just like Franny told us? Bjorn, enough! You've got to stop with the big, scary Gruntus and hurry up! Well, Bjorn, we made it. There's your house. Uh, well, good night then. Hope you get home safe. Uh, Bjorn, wait up! It's just that, uh, I walked you here. It's only fair you walk with me. Uh, uh plus it's no fun walking uh, just by yourself. Bucky, after I walk you home, you aren't going to walk me back to my place again, right? It'd just be so boring walking home by myself. You don't need to worry about that. We'll come up with a schedule, all right? Walking down the perfectly safe path and the perfectly... What the... Gigandy Gruntus, but I just made that up, you silly boys. But we saw him. He was really there. There were three horns and really sharp claws, just the way you described him. Fine, then. Just come show me. We'll take you to him, but first I'll invent a Giggity Gruntus Whomping Club. Bucky, how can we be sure your gigantic Gruntus Womper will work right? Of course it'll work. I built it, didn't I? You hear that, Wompy? Don't let me down. <laughs> gigantic Gruntus! Ah! Please don't eat me! Help! I taste terrible! I'm too furry to die! Ow! Get off! Sorry. Let's take a look at your gigantic Gruntus. <laughs> An owl in a tree? You're the biggest scaredy bears ever! Scared? I never actually said I was scared. Pretending, uh, so you would be scared. Uh-huh. Boo, oh, gigantic Gruntus! He's Bucky, he's Yummy! I heard that. No, help, it's Gigantic Chickas! <laughs> <laughs> no more scary stories for you boys. Just stories about bunnies and cupcakes and naps. Air Bears! <laughs> got one! Almost got one. Ha! There 
There isn't a prize for almost. Watch and learn, Bjorn. Uh, oh, huh? wow. Look at it go. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, totally. I wish so much we could fly like that. I'm in. I'm a thousand times smarter than a butterfly. This is a job for a genius. Oh, gross. I just swallowed some dirt. Do butterflies really start out like this? That's what I read. All right, if you say so. And when will our wings start coming in? Well, first, we caterpillars must construct a cocoon, and then we transform into pupae, which will become butterflies. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, let's get pupating. How long do we have to hang here? This cocoon is getting pretty sticky and sweaty. I've got this killer itch on my back. Ooh, maybe that means your wings are growing. So, we must be butterflies. Great, now then, just squeeze yourself free. Ugh. Well, how do my wings look? Are they big? Are they awesome? No, but they're invisible. You think we should have hung longer? So I grew stealth wings? I was kidding. Aw. Here's a new plan. Let's just forget butterflies. We should be trying to fly like birds! Tweet, 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 chirp, cheep, chirpy tweet, uh, bird word. What are you doing? Just trying to be birdish. Ah, sure, that's smart. Then, chirp, chirp, tweet, tweet, chirp, cheep, cheep, squawk, cheep, squawk, tweet, tweet, quack, 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 quack doodle doodle, ah, quack, 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 quack. Well, that's probably enough tweeting. All right, what now? Now we fly. Let's go together. Jump! Should we really do this? Of course! See? Well, that was a giant bust. Right? Guess it was smart to have this mattress down here because that went terribly. Flying like a bird is for the birds, but it isn't for us. Once we've gotten really high, Bjorn, we'll become one of the clouds and we'll fly forever! And we'll never fall! For realsies? Trust me, I'm really smart. That's exactly how clouds work. Come on, jump higher, Bjorny! High! Higher! 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 Oh. Uh, so hey, I was thinking. What now? We've been on the wrong track. We're not clouds, right? We should be flying like a rocket! <laughs> we try, try, try to fly, fly, fly Up high, high, high in the sky, sky, sky It's fly or fall, it's do or die We're gonna kiss the ground goodbye! Right, Rocket Bjorn, prepare for the Air Bear Express to take off! Should we really do this? Absolutely! Oh yeah! Three, two, one! Bucky, Bjorn, hey there! So what are you doing, guys? We're about to take off. You're taking off? To where? Well, we already tried to fly like butterflies, and then like birds, and then like clouds. Then we thought we... Should try to fly like rockets, just like this beauty here. Sounds awesome. Oh, well then, so I guess you won't be able to have any of my yummy honey pie. You've got honey pie? How come we won't be able to have any? Well, because, see, butterflies and birds as well, also clouds and especially rockets, never eat honey. Say what? Bjorn, I'd like to fly like a rocket, but the price is just too high. I guess bears just don't fly. But we eat honey, which is way better. Franny, toss some pie into my mouth. Sure, open wide. Ah. <sighs> it really isn't so bad, is it, being a bear? Up there in the sky, you won't find any honey pie. Mmm, so good. But of course, honey! Dude, bees, right? They eat honey and they fly. It's so perfect, right? Oh, yeah. We are gonna become honeybees! Buzz, pollinate, buzz, sting, buzz, buzz. The surprise! surprise. Ah, our beautiful space neighborhood, the Milky Way. 
The moon is on the Great Bear's bottom. Ah. Interesting, don't you think? And the planet Mercury's on the Little Bear's bottom. And that would mean... Bucky, hey! You're sleeping through this? Come on, wake up! Bucky! I'm absolutely not sleeping. I'm just resting my eyes a little. Bucky, look, the moon's on the Great Bear's bottom. It isn't my fault, Bjorn. Just wake up, Bucky. It's so exciting. The position of the planets and stars means that sometime tomorrow, we'll be getting an awesome surprise. I'm up. <sighs> hey, where are you going? Home to start waiting for the surprise. I love surprises. Surprises <sighs> are the best. <sighs> Uh, hooray! Huh? Surprise time! Oh, it's just Franny. Good morning, fellas. Did someone say surprise? All the planets and stars were in positions that told us that we'd be getting a big surprise. So we're waiting for it. But I thought we were all planning to go skiing together. No way! We haven't got time. We have to wait for the surprise to come. Are you sure you have to wait at home? Because it's really nice outside. All right, then. Come on, Chicky. Like we'd even consider skiing today. We'd miss the awesome surprise. So, Bjorn, how much longer till it comes, huh? Haven't got a clue. I haven't ever waited for a wonderful surprise until now. We'll just wait and see, I guess. Wow. All right, Chicky, time to have some fun. were telling lies. Wow! Take a look at that! It's beautiful! <gasps> hey! Look at the sky! Doesn't it take your breath away? That must be what they call the Northern Lights! It's like something out of a fairy tale! Look here, Bucky! It's your Turbo Super Tronomatic Rocket Pack! Finding this might be our surprise! It's broken! It couldn't be! Could it be your old favorite fishing rod? You were extremely upset when you lost it! Nah, I made another fishing rod when I lost that one. An even better one. Now what, Bucky? Could be that I read the stars wrong. So, I guess it's possible our surprise might be no surprise at all. Huh? You will not believe what I just saw! Only the most amazing thing in the whole wide world! The Northern Lights turned the whole pond into a magical frozen wonderland! The Northern Lights are shining for real? That's massively cool! You expect us to believe you saw the Northern Lights? If you doubt it, come and see for yourselves! There I am, and there's Chicky, and me with Chicky. How did it go? Did you get your surprise? Sure, of course. It turned out to be this magic cookie. Uh, Chicky, 